Hello and welcome to the Arca series. We are here at Charlotte, and it is modern Charlotte this time around, with the white walls as you can see out here. Um, we are getting started for our first Arca race of the season, and my second of the season so far. The Gen 4 race didn't go too well. Um, for some reason, Rockingham was upside down at one point. I'm not sure what that was all about, but... Um, we're hoping that, you know, Charlotte stays right side up the whole time. <laughs> and, you know, maybe we can get ourselves a decent finish. We've got the new dynamic track happening. And I've noticed that uh, the speed initially is actually quite fast. But then as the track gets some usage and heats up and stuff, it will start coming down to what was what used to be essentially the normal pace that's kind of what I've discovered so far I hit an all-time best lap in the open practice by quite a bit before coming in here which was interesting green, green, it's looking like we've got okay. some good grip right now lap. as well though it can get loose mid to late corner so I'm gonna have to watch out for that here Decent enough corner in one and two. Gotta slow it down even more for three and four here at Charlotte. And this gets real loose. We fight it off though. One more lap. Okay, not half bad. That'll be a 30.0. P3. You've just done a three. Sounds like. So maybe we can get some more out of it. We'll push a little harder this time then. Yeah, it looks like there's some more speed to be had. I gotta trust that it'll grip up, I think, is maybe what's going on here. Fastest lap for Reed, 30.0. Little slidey down there. We'll hold on to it the best we can, and this just might be a little bit faster. Yeah, just a tiny bit. You're now 0.1 off the pace. The leader's got himself a 29.9. Very, very fast. I have not been able to break into the 29s yet, but we got really close, as you can see there, with our 30.039. We'll see if we can keep that. I'm thankful I'm not starting P2. I hate starting on the outside front row, so if I'm not going to get the pull, next best thing, I think, is third, fourth, fifth. Hopefully we can hang on to that. Looking for a solid finish. 3.4k strength of field. We are the number two car. And uh, I just want to get a good finish in this season, since Rockingham did not go well. We've got Gavin in here. I wished him good luck. And uh, Dean as well. He is uh, right here in the 18. Currently slated to start off P13. Good luck to him as well. He said hello. And we're waiting on the 14 and the 22 to do some laps. 22 did one lap. They both did one lap, so maybe we're going we're gonna to get started here in a second. I hope so. Come on, 14. We can take a whole minute and a half off of our uh, wait if he gets going. You would think everyone's excited to get the some of their first races done of the season. Check out some dynamic track, maybe? Oval refresh? Yeah, here we go. Exciting. Love when everybody gets gridded up. We are starting P3. I'm happy to be on the inside. You'll be lining up on the inside. We'll have a great close, jump if uh, we can keep an eye on that one car yeah, nice and easy. There's your exact strength of field. Keep it clean. The DNF today would hurt our points a lot. 62. Okay, I don't know why I'm looking at fuel like that's going to matter, but I guess we'll prepare for fast repair in case we need it. I remember in the past, this combo can get really close tight racing. Um, surprisingly so, maybe. And I mean, the qualifying times were very, very close, so I guess that makes sense. In fact, we had a virtual tie for 7th and 8th. Gavin starting P12 on the uh, directly in front of Dean. Maybe they'll have some racing back there. I'm interested to see a couple of people that uh, actually qualified 
behind us there, because I know guys like the 5 and the 3 are very, very fast. They could find themselves moving forward. I'm going to try to save the tires a little bit. Because uh, 40 green laps here, guaranteed no cautions. And Charlotte's always a place you want to save some tire. So we'll see how well we can get that done. There's no tire changes allowed during this race. The Treat them right and good luck. Treat them right and good luck. 78 Fahrenheit. Oh, good. My uh, <laughs> internet's blinking a little bit. That's just what I wanted to see. The Q bar. Up at the top right. I would prefer that to go away. It's like a second gear start. Back into the green and hopefully disappearing, so maybe it was just a one temporary moment thing. Can't be worrying about that too much. I gotta think about what I'm supposed to be doing out here on track. So what's the reason we're ripping this fence? Is that the new update with the tire model or whatever? Hmm. So yeah, internet yeah. going back to normal. I'm gonna be running the bottom line, I'm saving tire. Fast, people going stupid fast up on the wall. And is that the new tire model doing that? Cause it's cooler up there. But if uh, people don't use the high side and we have to move up there later, we yeah, might get some be, good grip. So. Momentum to get we'll look forward to that. Power. Yeah, I started running a little bit higher in my last few runs, and I kind of got some better laps. Looking like Chase Briscoe in front of us, getting us started. Number one car. Hopefully we don't get run over when okay, we try to save a little bit tire here, because I don't really want to kill him. Here we go. All right. Is that a first gear start? I could have sworn that, that there was no way it was going to be first gear, but those guys got a great jump on me, and I felt like I had a quick reaction time. Are you serious, dude? Why are you cutting that so close? Alright. Really chopped you there. I reckon in the back. I reckon in the back. That is not what anyone wanted to hear. Alright, getting some rotation. That's good, though. Just got to... Hold on to it. Default. He's going high line and into the wall. <laughs> I don't know if the oval refresh is going to help you out too much if you're in the wall. Not a wall refresh, unfortunately. We're going to run this bottom line, try not to use too much steering wheel, get it slowed down, all that good stuff. A lot of turn to be had when you get real close to that blue line down here. We're going to search for that. Might be lifting off big into turn three. You guys want to get around, I totally understand. Seven seems patient for now, though. Try not to gas it up too much through the center. So far, so good. Those guys are pulling away ahead, but they could be overdriving it, too. We might find them coming back to us later. That's the hope. I did a uh, bit of a shorter long run while practicing, and I was right about even on the tires. So trying to mimic what I was doing there, out here on the... or in the real event. Uh-oh, some smoke. Hopefully both Gavin and Deed made it through whatever happened. Can't really look right now. I'm going to focus on what I'm doing, and we'll find out eventually what happened in the incidents. Twenty-one coming out of pit road, maybe, unless he was just a spinner.
We're moving up higher back there. And looking like it's pretty fast, at least for now. I'm going to be uh, disciplined, though, and even if it is fast up there, take the tire saving line. That speed will be there when we need it. But for now, we got a lot of laps that we're guaranteed to have green. Oval Refresh may have made those uh, lines faster up there, but it's still going to hurt your tire if you start going too hard too early. That's kind of what I've been learning. So it's tempting to try out the new fun Oval Refresh. But I'm going to I'm going to hang out on the low side for now. And I think it's working. It looks like the guys behind might be falling back a little bit. We're getting great turn down there near the blue line. Car doesn't feel like it's tight or anything yet. See me doing big lifts off. Play with the throttle, try to get it rotated. Man, lots of smoke on the exit of four. Another time there, we had something, and I think the six just got yeah, the wall. Yeah, I on the other guy going there, I to get out of it, and it just got me all fucked up. So even if we kind of hang out here in fourth, that's still a good finish. What we kind of want to see is uh, are those two leaders up there maybe getting side by side. That would be a welcome sight. 13 heading to the pit, so there's definitely been some some sort of uh, pandemonium going on back there. Guy is uh, getting damaged. I'm thankful that we were able to qualify ahead of that. Whatever and that is. It is a little concerning how far away the first two cars have gotten. However, we are still only a fourth of the way through the race at a place that is known for uh, wearing out tires. So their two second gap could very well start shortening up over time. Speaking of the gap shortening up, the guy behind us also starting to make some progress toward us. I'm just going to keep looking at my session last lap, trying to keep that consistent. Tires still feel nice and balanced. I could probably carry more speed through 1 and 2 if I wanted to. I think I could probably get the car yawed out if I uh, needed and continue to get on the right rear without hurting the right front. Uh oh. What the hell are we doing? More What's stuff happening on? up ahead. I think there's a lap car just self spinning in front of the leaders. A little worrying, but everyone's okay, it looks like. Yeah, I think I can carry more speed through 1 and 2. I might be just sacrificing speed by slowing it down as much as I had been. 3 and 4 is a different story. You really gotta slow it down over here. Ooh, the 6 clobbers the wall again. That looked like a pretty solid hit. He was able to get away with the first one. Okay, Let's see if he uh, continues to pull out or keep that gap after that one. Presumably he's getting pretty tight though by uh, drifting out and hitting that wall. I don't have that issue at all right now. I'm feeling like the car is feeling great. Nice and balanced. Gavin's moving forward. I see him back there in seventh. Great to see. First confirmation that he was not involved in any of the wrecks. Or at least not enough to be out of this thing. We've got point six ahead to the third place car, and we are catching the leaders, little by little. Guy behind's catching us too, though.
Very interesting. We're not even to halfway yet, and we are gaining on the guys in front of us. That still leaves us plenty of time to take advantage of better tire wear. Could get exciting. Gavin's up to six, though. Gavin is fantastic at saving tires, by the way. Watching enough of his videos, more often than not, he's one of the best guys at the end of a run. He knows how to get it. Uh, get that long run speed, for sure. We got someone off pace on the racing line down there, maybe? Is that what I'm seeing? We might have to take the high line in one and two. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? That was oh boy, that is wrecking. Guy head takes the higher line, but he's not getting too much speed out of it. His tires might be hurting. He's up there looking for grip. Couldn't tell if I was going to get to his inside there, so left to myself a lane. What this car is doing? Why are lap cars running in the racing line? Uh, I guess there is no real racing line anymore. You can run anywhere, but I still think they probably should go, should go high, wouldn't you? I felt the first little indication of a push there through three and four. You've just done a that's one point seven. Caught the six. He's going to be running the high line, though, so he might be tough to pass. All right, Colton, that's half distance. You're looking they good. are definitely exploring lines up ahead around the track. File in. I don't think high line is going to be a thing in three and four. I think you really want to be low line over here. It's big tight. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Keeps it off the wall though. Fuck, I got so tight. That lap time was 31.7. He is going to take the higher line. We're going to cut down. Try to get around, but not quite. Hmm. We're getting held up. I'm gonna try a middle line there. Didn't quite get the run I needed. I need him to make a mistake, probably. What do we do? That's holding up right now. High line. What we got up here? Well, enough to get to his inside. Needs a little break on entry. Come on, let me go. You know I got better tires. Oh, why would he ever? Alright, have to use a little bit of tire to do it, but we get around him. Help those two guys ahead get away a little bit more. We're gonna have to use a little bit of brake in three and four now, I think. It's getting a little bit too tight. That lap time was 
zero. So we're in P3. We got the seven working on the six now. Hopefully, <laughs> he'll have just as much trouble as we did trying to get that done. Definitely using some braking three and four now. That's super, super understeery. To that blue line. That car ahead. Getting into the wall, maybe. Okay, that was better. And three and four there. Those two leaders might have been able to yaw it out the whole time a little bit better and be on their rear tire. Letting the tires cool down a little bit. Feels like we're getting some more grip back. Still uh, uh, 12 to go, I believe. Gavin's back there in six. The five has moved forward as I, I kind of predicted he would. It's pretty fast. Leaders are side by side, but they seem to be on another level. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch them, even with them going at a quicker pace. The car doesn't even really feel all that bad. I feel like I've still got some turn in it. It got tight for a minute there when I had to push harder, but after backing it down, it kind of P3. calmed down again. I gave myself a 1x there, cutting into the grass. I need to do that. They are having quite the race up there. Why does it feel like I'm always in third place watching the actual fast guys win? And race having an like, excellent race for the win. Seems to happen a lot. Once we get close to the end of this thing, I might experiment up higher on the track, see if there's speed there, once we don't have to worry about tires anymore. Might be the time to really test out if there really is some speed up there. Great rotation right there. Eight to go. That lap was a 31.9. I think the 10 might be falling off. I don't know if the 1 is, but it looks like we gained a couple tenths on the second place car. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. They just kind of pulled away, and now everybody's got about the same speed. Feels like. That lap car that's been a little bit scary back up there. Your lap time was 32.0. I really hope he goes high here. That would be the really obvious thing to do. 
That is lap car basics 101. Be predictable. It's changing lanes directly in front of me. Guy just doesn't know. He's a D class, it looks like. He might still be newer. It's looking good. It is looking good. I would like more, but we're not gaining on anybody ahead anymore. Fortunately. Is it time to try out some different lines? Hey, there is some grip up here. Is it faster though? Not really. That was pretty much equal. A little tiny bit faster, maybe. I think the higher line in one and two is where it's gonna be at anyway. Okay, Colton, the next car is white. Ah, this car's just so underpowered it feels like you're just going the longer way around. That did not help at all. That was much slower. Can we maybe do like one lane up? Let's try that next. It was faster than the high line, but I don't think it was faster than the low line. I don't know, man. I didn't feel all that great. And to know that I'm hurting my tires anyway. Don't know if the extra tiny bit of speed potential, at least in 3 and 4 there was, is worth the extra tire wear. What flag this time? I think maybe there might be something a little bit higher in 3 and 4. Not so much over here though. Lap car is racing with the leaders, it looks like. I'm sure they're thrilled about it, but they're still going to finish clean. We'll get a P3. All right. GR, GW. We're on the podium. Good drive. There's the flag. It's over. I'm gonna try something real quick. Extreme high line pushing much harder. Anything to that? No. What if I extreme high line over here? What I'd like to do is that it went up a little wall point at about three times a piece. Oh, good way. Man, I wish it went a little bit better. I just started screwing up on that. Testing it a little bit. Yeah, I definitely feel my right front. It's a good opportunity to test a couple things, just you never know. Eh. Messes with our tire readings a little bit, but can't be too much far off what we had. 63.74. That seems about right with everybody else. Maybe add like 1% to the front. Maybe two, because I really killed it with that slider line I tried. So maybe like 65, 74. Or, yeah. 65, maybe 75. I don't know. But, uh. Good race to. Oh, he's gone. Well, good race to Monty. He kept up with me, he kept the tires on it, just as we did. I think he probably did better, actually, 68-72. He probably got more on the right rear than we did. Something interesting I'm noticing Are with the guys, oval refresh. Are you guys like, in the late run or something? Because I'm wondering how the hell you still have a groove. Left, right, left side tires are getting more worn, it feels like.
I started using a little bit of brake, mostly into three late run to help get it rotated. Yeah, I could barely get rotated into three. Okay, I, I don't asking. know. I'm just I'm not really that good with intermediates. Like this is my first intermediate race in a while. Yeah, Charlotte's a, Charlotte's a place you really want to keep the tires on it too. This place rips them up, so it's something you got to look at from the start. Yeah, probably the best intermediate race I've had though, because like I had well, actually probably second best because I did a Charlotte race with the Gen Four Cup, but uh, for Arca, this is probably one of the a good one because I actually had like a good momentum at the beginning. I just got killed by tire wear. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we get P3 right where we started. Gavin had a good run. He moved up six spots. Moving forward, he probably posted a 6171, so he used them. He got on the right rear really good, it looks like. Uh, that probably made a big difference for him, even though his right front was a little bit more than some other guys. He balanced it by using his right rear as well, which uh, means he's still going pretty quick. So that helped him gain some spots, I'm sure. Now let's check the incidents, because we did have a handful of things happen, it looked like. The guys off pace and smoke out of the corners. So we'll see. And I know something happened on lap one, even, I think. Probably related to some guy making it three wide on the start. Never fails, man. I think uh, we had Bass Pro Shops over here in sixth gear for the start, though, which probably didn't help matters. Yeah, that looks like he was fourth gear starting. So, got guys trying to get around him. Where did he end up finishing? He finishes 13th. Good race. Yeah, those guys I had were able to be fast and be uh, good on the tire. So uh, that's the that's the goal you got to try to get to. I guess they're probably yawning it out pretty good. Did either of them post their tire? We could look at that. So it's either Thomas or Alexander. Alexander, 66.75. That's interesting. Wow, the one car. That's excellent. 72 71 how how did he do that he was the chase briscoe looking guy that's impressive i don't know how you do that hmm because i mean that's better <laughs> that's a better right front than just about everybody and he was fast enough to win the darn thing so all right sorry got a little distracted but let's go back and look uh at this so they were three wide and then into turn one, yeah, they wreck it. So the 12 just, I don't know what we're doing here. The, who is this? The 13 enters really, really slow. Maybe hit the wall, but he's uh, entering really slow. And then the 12, for some reason, decides he's going to like cut into this really tight gap. He just cuts it so close in front of the 22. Is really aggressive and dangerous for no reason. He, if he had just stayed high, he probably could have gone around the guy on the outside if he's going to be that off pace and uh, made up some positions early, but instead he just kind of puts himself in that dangerous spot. So that was the one, lap one wreck we heard about. 15 bounce in the wall, nothing too big though. Whoa! 
That is a little bit of apron and a broken car the 21 had. Seven behind us. Does he get the wall a little bit? Oh, yeah. Decent hit. 13 is spinning it. Just gets it sideways. So he cracks it back onto the track and into the wall. Thankfully, no big pack right behind him or anything. Here is this guy spinning. I think this is when he did it right in front of the leaders. Whoa, scary. Five's going to blink a little bit. Hopefully, we weren't blinking too bad. I don't think, uh, I don't think we had it all that bad, but... Man, the 13 is having a rough time. He keeps getting loose late in the corners there. 21 is broken, but still out there. Finding the ways to hit the wall. These guys are trying to run the high line. Just a bit of a blink, though. We'll move ahead a little bit, past some of the wall hits. 23 gets stuck. Alright. Nothing there. Here's a side-by-side. -side. 16 trying to slide it, maybe? Nope. I think tires are probably just getting real worn for some of these, some of these guys. And they're showing up in the incidents. 23 right on his bumper. I keep thinking they're going to make contact. So far, just some blinking, though. 21 still way off pace. Uh, and then that was after. That's right. Okay. That was after I uh, did a couple more laps to test some dynamic track stuff. So uh, that's just some guys messing around. We'll get on the podium. Happy with that. Two thumbs up. Nice recovery after our bad Gen 4 race. And uh, we had a little bit of better luck. So here is the race results page. Where we will see we had a strength of field of uh, 3403. We'll get 34 I rating back. It's about half back of what we lost in the Gen 4 race. And 186 championship points. That's a good number. Look at that. These guys able to hit 30.1s and still keep their tires on it. That's uh, that's what I don't know. I just I don't quite have the ability to do that. They must uh, know exactly when to gas it up and how to yaw it out just right so that way they're on the right rear or at least not on the right front. Because uh, you can see, in order to keep our pace, we had to hit the 30.4s. And uh, a lot of these guys, same story. Everyone else kind of in the 30.4s. The 6, um, he was ahead of us early, but I think he fell off. He was not able to keep the tires on it and ended up falling back to 10th. So, really interesting. Um, there must be a way to maybe hit that blue line just right and get the rotation. More uh, research will have to be done for me to learn how to do it. But uh, not bad. Not bad at all anyway. We still get a P3. Gavin with a 6th place finish. Great run to him. Uh, Monty got the 57 I rating. Nice haul for his 4th place finish. And uh, Dean there in P13 as the 18 car. That's a good run. He'll get some I rating gains from that. So well done to him as well. Overall, pretty great race. Um, so long as you weren't one of the guys, I guess, took, taken out in the first lap wreck and such. So that was enjoyable. All right. First uh, ARCA race of the season, a success. Thank you for joining me for it. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.